A curve has this equation. Find the coordinates of the minimum point, justifying that it is a minimum. Calculate the discriminant of this. Explain why this function is always positive for x bigger than minus 2. Okay, so minimum then. So we better expand this bracket. So part 1. Here, y is equal to... So it would be x times all of these terms. So it would be x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x's and then run the 2 through them all plus 2x squared minus 6x's plus 10 so y is equal to x cubed then minus 3 plus 2 is minus x squared 5 minus 6 is minus x plus 10 okay so the minimum let's get dy dx differentiating power rule 3 this one less which is 2 minus 2 lots of this to the one less which is 1 minus x goes to 1 and the constant goes to 0 so that equal 0 find when dy dx equals 0 uh, okay, so this equals 0, we need 3x then. If it factorizes and an x, it has to be a 1 and a 1 as well. This is minus, so put this as minus and this as plus, and hopefully that should do it. So that tells us then. Here, um, yeah, this works out fine. Yeah, everything works out fine there. So x equals minus a third then. This one turning point, and the other turning point is when x equals 1. Now the second derivative, differentiate again, the 2 comes to root with the 3 to make 6, x to the 1 less, minus, x goes to 1, so it's minus 2 lots of 1, which is 2, and the constant goes to 0. When x equals 1, put it in, 6 minus 2 is 4, uh, which is greater than 0 when x equals 1. So we put that in, we've got positive, so it's a min. So minimum at x equals 1, y is equal to, let's put 1 in, 1 here, 1 cubed, minus 1 squared, which is 1, minus 1 again, plus 10, 11 minus 2 is 9, i.e. min is at 1, 9 coordinate. Okay, so that's that done then. And justify, well we said the second derivative is positive, and it's a minimum, so we've justified it. Calculate the discriminant of this. x squared minus 3x plus 5, this is part 2. Here answer. The discriminant is b squared minus c squared is 9 minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 5. 9 minus 20 is minus 11 which is less than 0. So the discriminant is negative so there's no roots to that quadratic. Explain why this is always positive. So part 3 y is equal to x plus 2, x squared minus 3x plus 5 only has one root by part 2 when x plus 2 is equal to naught, which tells us x is equal to minus 2. So that's the only root. Uh, it, it is a cubic. And so the minimum, uh, okay, it is a cubic. So let's sketch it then. It is a cubic curve.
Let's have a look at it. So just a quick sketch of this then. To put it here with a digital pen. Put it here. I know it's over that, but it is just a quick sketch. Uh, it's got a minimum at one and nine. And here's the minimum. So it's going to come down. It's only got one root at minus two. So it's going to come here. And then it's got a maximum and a minimum. So it's going to go up here like so. Uh, it's going to... Hmm. It has to turn here, then it goes back up, and that other maximum uh, would happen at minus one third, so just by there, and then it goes down there. So this is the curve, y, and this is minus two here, y, the curve will be bigger than zero when x is bigger than minus 2. And we see that from the sketch, don't we? It's only got one root, which has to be here. Here's the minimum that we've specified. Because it's an x cubed, it shoots up here and it shoots down there. So it can only, and it's got a turning point at minus 1 third here on this maximum. Okay, good.